Hello and welcome to the Yogscast, where we're looking at the engineer class that you've been playing. This is your character, Simon. Oh yeah, he's beautiful. Look at you standing on there, on that land. It's really cool, isn't it, how it actually I'm gorgeous. adjusts your sort of posture. So, engineer, rifle, uh, there's no weapon swapping. Worth noting that, you can't actually switch out weapons, but instead you have all these weird um, sort of kits and tools that actually change your hot bar over anyway to other kind of abilities. So the blunderbuss, you've got a net shot, which is kind of like a cripple, like a PvP thing. You've got this short range sort of shotgun skill, which is AoE. You've got an overcharge shot, which blows you backwards and uh, blows them f backwards as well. <laughs> so that's again handy to give you a bit of uh, range. Um, did you did you enjoy this class, Simon? Was it everything you hoped for? It was pretty good. Um, but the turrets that you have felt pretty underpowered. Uh, I have to say. Mm. Um, well, but it felt pretty. Good. It felt good as a class. And I mean, look at that leaping forward by shooting the ground. <laughs> I mean, that's the fifth ability. That is such a good sort of. It's a heroic leap type thing. It's really amazing. I'm just sort of taking these thoughts out. But you're right. I mean, the turret's what we're going to see next. And the utility skills over on the right determine what skills you actually get here. It's your F1 to F4 keys. So you've actually got healing turret as your heal. You've slotted that in. And you've also got uh, a flame turret, flamethrower, and a bomb kit. And now these are the things that affect your... F1 through F4 skills. Originally, you actually, you actually bought the healing turret, didn't you, with um, a skill point or two? Yeah. So originally you had Elixir H there, which is just a kind of thing to heal you. So again, there's, there's different types of turrets, uh, there's different types of elixirs, and these will do weird stuff like give you a random utility buff from another profession. <laughs> You're sort of an alchemist as well, being an engineer. Yeah. That will shrink you. That one will convert all bad stuff on you to good stuff, which is quite cool. Grenades, bombs, flamethrowers, um, oh. elixir gun, tool kit, utility goggles, rocket boots, personal <laughs> bashing, all this <laughs> stuff sounds amazing. It does, doesn't um, it? It does. They all sound amazing, all these abilities. Then the elite skills. There's a supply crate drop, like in Call of Duty, which is very, very cool. <laughs> That's a support for your team. There's a mortar turret, which is amazing. And there's the Elixir X, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, or now, in fact. And this actually will trigger an Elixir, which turns you into the ultimate elite ability randomly of either the Elementalist, the Necromancer, or the Warrior. Wow. Okay? <laughs> now, this is the Necromancer ult, which turns you into a Lich. And it's the reason why I didn't show it in the Necromancer video, because I wanted to show uh. some of the other abilities instead. Um, but basically, in that form, you can pulse an AoE around you, either a cripple, a bleed, or I think another vulnerability effect. So you can either debuff, cripple, or bleed people oh. to death in the AoE with the Lich form. It's very cool. So this is the healing turret, and this is the flame turret. Um, they're sort of automatic, um, and uh, pretty much do what they say on the tin, don't they? Uh, plonk them down. There's also incendiary ammo, which I've actually just equipped, uh, which sets that guy on fire. And the incendiary ammo comes from the flamethrower. So having the flamethrower equipped allows us to occasionally buff us our main gun with an incendiary ammo. Having the bomb kit equipped <laughs> gives us this ability called Big Old Bomb, where you can plonk a big <laughs> bomb down and then <laughs> wait patiently <laughs> to blow the cows up, which is pretty damn amazing. So yeah, that is hella good, actually, the Big Old Bomb. And this is a, this is a combo finisher, Big Old Bomb, as well. I didn't really mention this combo finisher thing. I, I'll mention it in the Thief video when I talk about Thieves. But you'll have to catch up with that. Oh, such a tease! I know. Well, the thing is, there's so much to go through. I'm having to rush here. So, overcharging the turrets will cause them to spaz out for a short period of time. Now, obviously, every class has to have a heal, and overcharging your healing turret is what you can do to give yourself a heal. 
and the same thing with the flame turret. Now this is the flame thrower, which is absolutely pimp tastic. It's the best thing ever. Changes your one through five to different things, and you can flame poor things. I'm chosen. I'm chosen a sort of a bad. Um, NPC to attack with this flamethrower because it's so small I'm sort of shooting into the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you can also fire a ball of napalm which rolls on the ground and explodes. And uh, that wolf seems to have spawned a second wolf from somewhere. I'm not sure how that happened. How is Babby um, formed? I'm in the middle of like a, a sort of higher level zone which isn't really very well optimised but I thought I'd try it out. Uh, so this guy's giving me a quest to, to set fire to traps and creatures and stuff and rescue hunters and do all sorts of various gubbins. Third skill is like the pyroblast on um, from TF2. So it's actually an air blast that knocks mm. stuff back. And this one, backdraft, actually pulls foes the opposite way. So it pulls foes to you. So you can backdraft someone and then blow them away again. <laughs> and then you can put down a, a wall of fire. <laughs> I forgot about that. So you could actually blow them and suck them through the wall of fire. Exactly. Exactly. That That's what's really cool about this. Yeah, which is totally, totally awesome. The bomb kit gives you a series of bombs. Now, this is a weird one. I wasn't really sure what I was doing here, but it only seems to allow you to put bombs on the ground of various types and not actually throw them anywhere. So, yeah, it's kind of like a weird grenadier... Well, grenades are what you throw and bombs are what you place, I think. I think that's how this works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's weird, like... It's weird trying to play this guy. It seems to do okay damage. I just literally put a bomb up that cow's backside there. Oh dear. And now I'm sort of trying to lead him towards the tar. There you go, this is a sort of stun one. That's a sort of firework one. There you go. See, it did a fair bit of damage, but... I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure about it. So, let's go for the elixir again. Okay, it turned me into the lich form again, which is fine. It's fine. It's a bit crazy because we, we had like one weekend to play all these different classes, try and familiarise ourselves with them. And the fact that these are so different and so unique, it, you know, it's, it's a lot to take in. Um, and the fact that your skills, there are so many different skills, because every time you change a weapon you have a different set of skills. You can pick up a utility skill that changes your set of skills. You can pick up random items in the game, random weapons and things, and they also give you a different set of skills. So <laughs> it's confusing. It's nuts. <laughs> so, I mean, but it's really cool. It's limited with the engineer though, I mean you can't change your weapons on the fly like you can with most of the classes because you have so many other weapon sets going on, it would be too ridiculous if you did. But the other option is using the two pistols, so you've got the poison shots, you've got an electrical static shot, um, which sort of stuns and blinds people and bounces between them. And you've got a couple of other abilities with the pistol offhand as well which are quite cool. Glue shot as a sort of immobilize, which actually is a ground targeted one. There's a lot of ground targeted abilities in this game I've found. And this is a very short range, look at that. I mean it's so short range. So I'm poisoning them, I'm, I'm doing the chain stunning shot which bounces between them. And five is blowtorch which um, does a little brief sort of flame and catches the wall on fire. I quite like the pistols actually. I'm not having too much difficulty just setting all these guys alight. Having a good time with it, to be honest. And the other thing is that engineers are the only the third class that can use shields along with warriors and uh, guardians. So if you equip a shield, you actually have a couple of interesting abilities there. Um, once I'm out of combat, I can actually switch over. But as you can see, it's it's not that easy to switch over when you're in combat. So a magnetic shield that reflects projectiles, which is quite cool as a defensive one, and an electrified shield that will block damage but if it doesn't block any damage it will do damage so if if you use it defensively and you don't get hit it will do damage instead and this guy seems to have been spazzing out and won't actually as I said this is an area that's not quite optimized these guys don't seem to be attacking me look at this guy he's just like emoting but like, hello <laughs> hello <laughs> he's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's happened to him. But yeah, there you go, he's dead. Maybe he was trying to say, you know, do you want to be friends? 
please don't attack me. I have a family. And <laughs> you just own it. See, there you go. I reflected all my arrows then. <laughs> poor guy. So, actually, death animations will change based on how they die. So I electrocuted that guy and he sort of uh, spazzed out a bit. Mm. Anyway, let me get my uh, utility on again. So this is the warrior ult here, Juggernaut. And it oh. takes all of your abilities off except for these hand-to-hand -hand ones. And it gives you the opportunity to smash the ground like this. Knock people down, throw rocks at them, like the tank in Left 4 Dead. Also I can dash at people and shoulder them, elbow them in the face, kick them in the balls and punch them in the chops. And it's it's actually amazing, Chuckanaut. It's a really fun, really cool ability. Kick him in the balls? Are you sure about that? Is that actually what the skill does? Does it say kick that? Him, it's what it says tip. on the tooltip, yeah. Oh, oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, that's the engineer. God, there's so much to cover. I'm. I feel like we're doing a really terrible job of it, man. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's good for a first look because there's a lot of people out there who don't know much about this game, and neither do we. <laughs> <laughs>